Think about this for a second. You've used tools like Cursor, Windsurf, Lovable, and all these other no-code tools, and you give it a prompt, it gives you a half-baked website. The further you try to improve it, you get thrown with more bugs, and you kind of enter this loop where you're not really making any progress. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Windsurf IDE along with some really awesome rules that will improve your workflow as well as must have MCP servers and my top favorites. Now, let's get started. Download this, download for Windows. Once the download is complete, just go ahead and install this like you would any other application. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and launch Windsurf. Once you are logged in with your account, what you want to do is go ahead and go to Windsurf settings and then find plugins. Go to open plugin store. Now here you'll find a bunch of MCP servers and I'm going to show you how you can install um, some of them. So sequential thinking is a no brainer, right? Um, another one you would need is Git, GitHub maybe. So. I'm going to install GitHub, but you will, as you can see, you need an access token. How do you get this? Well, go to your GitHub and then open your settings. Go down to developer settings, access tokens, classic, generate new token. You can pick either or. I just like doing this one because it's quicker. Um, I'm going to name this Windsurf. I don't like setting an expiration date. I usually manually delete these after tutorials so don't try to copy it it's not going to work and like the homo sapiens we are we are going to select all these options and generate a token copy it come back here save and paste it now this is done next up is superbase We're, again same thing you're going to need an access token just generate a new token i'm going to name this windsurf again copy save now i really don't need to explain what superbase is because i'm pretty sure you already know what database is and like this like no brainer right i'm not gonna go over it now how do you install an mcp server that's not in the plugin store like for example some of these servers that are here like 21st dev which is an awesome ui component library right so you open this page, right? Obviously the first, you're gonna need an access token. So you come here and go to set up magic MCP, Windsurf, copy this, come back here, open the app, the folder that you're going to be working in and paste the command, enter. As you can see, this is now set up. That is how you install plugins that are not already in the plugin library. It's pretty straightforward. Sometimes it can get a bit more complicated, so you might have to manually set these up. It's really not that hard. For example, I am just going to pick a random one. I don't know what this is. If I want to set this up, I would just copy this, paste it here, and obviously fill in the credentials and you're good to go, right? That's straightforward. Okay, now that you've set up your MCP servers, you can verify them just by, you know, going to your cascade and you'll see them populate here. If it's red, it's not working. If there's something wrong with it, go fix it. How do you set up rules now? So you can use AI like ChatGPT and Gemini to come up with your own rules, or you can search them on the internet from libraries like these linked below as well. Let's say that you're developing a Next.js project. All you do, copy this, whatever you want. You can even copy a bunch of these into an AI, like ChatGPT, and ask it to create you a rule based on your project. Okay. So for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to come here, Next.js. The first one that comes here, copy it. I'm going to come back here, go to Windsurf settings. You then you go to cascade again and all the way down to cascade rules manage rules you can create global rules that will be applied to your entire windsurf no matter what project you make or you can just use it for this specific workspace i'm going to add a global we're just for the simplicity we're just going to add a global rule come here paste save that's it 
what this is going to do is again there's a lot of different rules that you can select they're all over the internet it's really not that hard it's kind of just like a structure it's giving your code a structure right you can add a bunch of workflows memories there's a lot of things you can do with Windsor now this is like a quick crash course on how you can just install Windsurf, set up MCPs and set up rules. There's a lot more that goes in on this and it highly depends on what project you're working on. So every project will be set up differently based on the code, you know, the languages that you're using. I'm not going to go over each and every single one of these, but if there's something in specific that you want to see, let me know and I will make a video on it.